out and confess the lordship to his life so he continues saying there there are people who won't give their lives to jesus christ because demon spirit won't let them that's why it's important to intercede for the lost rebuking the devil and the darkness in their heart so so that they receive the glorious light of the gospel of christ so for you who is there pray do not be selfish always begging god to help you but pray for the lost one pray, pray for them so that they can receive christ in their life and he continues saying think about the fact that a fellow a fellow left his house willing to go to church but as soon as he approached the entrance of the church he could not go in the brethren tried every way to persuade him to enter the church but he but he wouldn't budge. An evil spirit had followed him all his life. Would 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 let him go anywhere else but church. However, while while he was at the door, the word of God was being taught inside the church, and suddenly he became called come and entered for the service as those who had tried to persuade him began to wonder at the sudden change of mind he said to them a spirit walked out of me praise god so this shows us as most of us we tend to be resistant going to church and the bible said do not forsake the brethren the gathering of the brethren let me tell you a simple story you see when the antelopes are in the forest as well as the lion lion tend to eat from antelopes so the moment a lion goes to capture the antelope all antelopes goes to the same way as as a family that they stay together so the the antelope that that tends to go to go at the opposite direction not following the rest of the antelope that's the antelope that the lion catches the same thing the saturn will always catch that that brethren that is not with other with with the family so that's why we are always encouraged to always be in church in bible study engage yourself in a in a christian activity and this one will help you to grow to grow in the word of god right now you are at home for quarantine you can always engage in yourself in a whatsapp whereby they're they're having a bible study or they're in a group of fellowship that you can you can decide let us today study this this book like my mom was telling me like for now they are studying the book of first peter this is a nice initiative that they are 
continue communicating with the brethren. They can always video chat. They can always Skype. They communicate. You understand? Exchanging ideas is very important in your growth of spiritual. So our pastor continues to say, imagine how many people want to come to church or give their lives to Christ, but they are being hated by the devil. But they, that, that's why we, we come in. Jesus gave us the authority to cast out demon, Mark 16, 17. And this is not only for the pastors. Everybody can cast out demons. You can always pray to someone and they get born again. And that is your purpose. That is your purpose as a Christian. Uh, it, is on the, it, it is one of the signs of our divinity. So in preaching the gospel, when you find people who seem to be resisting, resisting the message, intercede for them, that the devil would lose his grip on them. Do not give up on anyone, for anyone can accept the gospel of Christ and be saved. Praise God. Anyone can accept the gospel. It's only that sometimes this message is not reached to many people. But the moment they take grip of the message and the message is in their spirit, they, they will have a good foundation. They will always receive Christ and God uses everybody. Praise God. So I, I want us to say this prayer together. This is a prayer to concerning whatever I've just read. And then I'm going to lead you to Christ. It says, I thank you, blessed Father. You can repeat after me. I thank you, blessed Father. For the light of the gracious gospel of Christ that flows the earth, resulting in the massive salvation of souls around the world. The power and influence of Satan is broken, and the hearts and mind of many are open to receive the message of the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the same prayer that I'm praying, that each and every person who is not born again, as they lead you to Christ, you can open up your heart and receive Christ in your life. Praise God. So as I take this opportunity to lead you to Christ, I remember that you're going to say this prayer after me. And the moment you've done this, things are going to change in your life. You're going to be a new creation. And remember whatever I was telling you in my previous video, knowing God personally, that you're going to be a new being and there's no condemnation for those who are born again. Praise God. So as I say this prayer, kindly open up your heart, receive Christ, and you're going to be amazed on how your life is going to to turn around you're going to have many testimonies so so i would like you to say this prayer after me all oh god i believe with all my heart in jesus christ son of the living god i believe he died for me and god raised him from the dead i believe he's alive today I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. This is a very nice, nice, nice time and moment for each and every person. I thank you if you have received Christ in your life. You can always email me at Diana Nkada Mwabu, that's my Google, or even inbox me or comment or subscribe. Or you can also, the same, same way, text me, inbox me your number, and we try to converse. I'll always pray for you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Amen.